All right, guys, I got to make a video on this because it is kind of mind mind boggling to me how generous AFK Journey is towards their free to play player base. Like it's actually kind of nuts. And with how generous they are, it's like, well, how do you make money? <laughs> but it still works out. It still works out, right? OK, so 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 let, let's kind of go over this for your S level hero. You're guaranteed at 60, 60 pulls, 60 pulls. And if you look at the percentages for this. 2.05 for your epic heroes, 22 and a half for your elite heroes, and then your faction per or, uh, your acorn percentages, um, which is what you need to level up your heroes, right? Not bad. Th this right here is actually better than most. 60 pity is better than most. I, I, in fact, it's like I think it's better than all of the gotcha games that I've played. Over here on the epic recruitment, you get to target, you get to target. An S tier level hero. You get you get five choices, and then it's guaranteed in thirty recruits. You get you get to pick one of those guys. That's huge. That is huge. Five point two two percent. Right. So obviously you lose out on some of your elite percentages, and it like it trades it trades your uh, elite heroes. For your epic heroes and it changes your acorns from the faction acorns to omni acorns which is you could use them for any faction okay and actually some of look this percentage even went up this went up to 0 0.5 to 1 percent uh the this went down to 50 percent. i think it's 70 on the other one but still the 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 push and pull they do here to make these banners like extremely fair to free to play players versus whales is actually kind of insane i think it is the most generous gotcha game i have ever played now we haven't even gotten on to the good shit yet which is they added a raid up banner which this game has never had before okay boom we have character banners now this will rotate throughout the game whichever character you're looking for you can now target but what's amazing 40 Pulls guaranteed for this character. That is the most insane rates I think any gacha has had. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Tell me, uh, tell me of a better one. I'd, I'd be surprised, but you know. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at the percentages here. This went up from 2.05 to 3 percent. That's almost. That's a little less than you know doubled, right? Your elite heroes goes down to 10%. So so you get this percentage uh in sacrifice for this, but then also you get the omni acorns over here on this banner with higher percentages. Look, up to oh uh, may, maybe these are, are the same percentages as the regular recruitment, but it's for the omni acorns. So this just allows you to like guarantee your character, be able to get the materials you'll need to recruit any character you'd like. Hold on, hold on. If you come up here, check, check this out. This is the coolest part, right? Number of chances to receive Vala. Rate up heroes obtained is zero. Total rate up heroes available, four. I can get four copies of her right now because my max tier carrot like like my residence level is four. So you can get up to eight copies of her if you if you're up in the supreme tier for your resonance level. This means like way late game or even pretty early on, e even pretty on, uh, early on for free to play players, you're gonna have an epic hero like right off the bat, right? Which means if you pull her twice and you get some acorns, you can upgrade her again to legendary and then get two more copies of her if you have the materials to do it. So this is, I mean, this is the most free-to-play friendly gacha game I have played. Hands down. It is so rewarding to the free-to-play players. Obviously, yeah, if you whale, you're going to have more. You're going to do better. But even, even for the gameplay itself, the game itself, you don't need to whale. Like, this is, this is the gacha game where I think you could comfortably say you don't need to spend money. Like, other, other gachas, they're going to make you want to feel like you need it, man. 
like really bad. You're going to feel like you need it. But so far, my experience with this game, it hasn't felt like I've needed to spend a dime at all. Not even close to it. So these raid ups, these, these banners, um, I think it is an absolutely fantastic change to the game. Um, and I'm actually very, very surprised and, and pretty happy with it. <clears throat> um, just, yeah, man, the character banner, uh, the way, the way this system works, it's pretty solid. It's good. It's a solid banner. So if, if, if you guys were interested in playing this game, um, this is probably one of the best ones to play on your phone while you're taking a crap free to play and you can make it far, man. And you know what? The story's not that bad either. It's pretty good. It's, um, you know, the whole, eh, I won't ruin anything for you, but it's good. It's good. It's not a bad story. The gameplay is fun. Positioning matters for your combat. Like it's a, and it's super free to play friendly, man. I, I honestly, I would recommend this game to anybody who's interested in mobile gotchas. I'd be like, dude, this one, you're going to save money on, on this one. Play this one. <laughs> that would be my advice. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these banners. And if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a gotcha that is more uh, giving to their free-to-play player base. But I uh, this would be... This is the first one I've seen that is this generous. So, um, also not to mention, what the hell is this thing? Stargaze Station. This seems to be another banner of some sort, which is what, based on the picture, it looks like a banner that you could pull hypogenes from or celestials from, right? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe somebody knows something that I don't. If you do, please let me know in the comments down below. But, dude, these banners are, are pretty kick-ass. So, if you guys like this video, if you guys are going to play this game, please let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video or in this game, March 27th. So, I would also like to point out that they completely changed and, like, they completely change everything, right? From the from the PTR that I was playing, I had like the whole map discovered. I had everything. I was like really far into the story. My characters weren't super high level, but I had done a lot of the story. I had a lot of the map discovered. And then I logged in one day and they just, they changed it, right? All these changes, you have to go replay the story and it's absolutely bogus, man. I'm not, not the biggest fan of this because now I got to redo everything my my characters are still the same right they were like around yeah they were like level 80 um and they're like super strong and like i'm going through the beginning of the game and to like these level three units and just one shotting them all that's kind of fun i guess but it's gonna take me a while to get back to where i was so i can continue to make content on the game and it that that part is you know it's a little frustrating just a little frustrating for me personally but other than that guys this is it's a solid game download it march 27th i'll see you guys there maybe